Good morning, this is Dave Gleason for Super Fresh Growers with another orchard update. And it is truly morning this morning. This time of year, the sun is intense, the afternoons get hot, and we do whatever we can to moderate that, both for our trees and for our workers. But before we get into that, I wanted to talk just a little bit about where we are in fruit. Fruit harvest, fruit development, and what we see going on in the orchards at the moment. Right now, we are pretty much at the tail end of cherries. Pears have started, and also we're beginning to get our first apples. Uh, we're excited about that. Of course, every year we get excited about lots of things, and we're thinking about fruit 24-7. We've had a, a great growing season so far. We've had good sugar, good size, uh, good crop in all things that we are growing. And we're seeing Autumn Glory developing nicely, but also uh, ahead of that, we have some golden types and also uh, galas that are not too far away from us right now. Uh, so harvest is, is happening in several different varieties and pears too are looking very good this year. It's just been an excellent year so far for fruit development. Moving on from that, uh, back to the environment, in eastern Washington we get some of the most intense sunlight in the world. And that is a real benefit for us because it makes photosynthesis incredibly effective. We actually have times when there's so much sunlight that the leaves get a little bit overloaded and those factories start slowing down a bit in the afternoons when temperatures are high and sunlight's intense. So over the years, we've looked at a lot of different ways of moderating that environment. In the past, we would grow big trees with lots of limbs that had lots of shade. What that would do though, uh, because we need a perfect balance of sunlight for each leaf and for each fruit, uh, those leaves are factories and they need that sunlight, but each leaf also causes shade. So the more leaves we have in that tree, the more shade we're causing in the lower parts of the tree, and that begins to affect the fruit quality on the inside and lower parts. So these new systems that we've developed are for several reasons. We want to capture the maximum potential of the light allowed to us each day. At the same time, uh, those times when it gets to be too hot, we have to look at ways to moderate that environment at the same time. We've used irrigation water, and uh, that, that has complexities. The use of water is very critical. It's uh, one of our most important resources, and we have a good quantity available in eastern Washington, but we don't want to abuse that resource either. So we want to carefully apply it uh, scientifically to get the maximum results for tree growth, sugar development, fruit size, and also to help prevent heat. In the last several years, there's been a lot of work done in the development of shade cloth, and we're still looking at different possibilities there. Again, we're always looking for perfection, and there's a point that gives us the absolute best results across the whole field. Uh, if we have too much shade, again, that shade can cause a reduction in sugar development, it can cause a reduction in color in the fruit, so we have to balance that between, say, 25% is too much, but to start getting below 10% shade, then that can cause problems on the other side where, again, the fruit may start to burn and leaf start to shut down under too much light intensity. So again, this has been Dave Gleason with another Orchard Update. Thanks for watching.